Hey guys, Starling Glow here. I'm so glad that you guys are joining us for our live chat. We are going to do an acoustic version of Ignite for You, the song that we most recently released. And then we'll get to some of your questions. Uh, hope you guys enjoy it. I can't wait to hear what you guys have to ask. questions and feel free we are streaming live you can send us on Twitter Instagram Twitter is what we're gonna check most so send your questions and we will get to answering let's see what we've got here all right I've got some questions from earlier today so my friend Vera you asked what was the hardest part of filming the ignite video um i am afraid of heights uh more in the sense i will i will go ahead and do it if you tell me to but in the midst of it i will be having the mini like <gasps> i'm gonna die i'm on a fire escape i'm in stilettos it's okay don't show weakness um so there was uh, the scene where you just see my boots walking across the edge of that ledge uh it was really far down so overcoming the mental, I'm not gonna die, it's gonna be okay, someone's holding my hand. And also sliding down the banister. Um, that was pretty crazy. Uh, more questions, these are so good. I'm sorry to pick. Okay, Virginia, you asked, uh, where do you tend to want to go when you need me time away from everyone? Ooh, that's good. Um, 
a lot of you guys know if you check on Instagram, I love animals, especially horses. Um, and I have a horse and I ride all the time. So what's cool is um, obviously horseback riding can be social, but I really like to go and just zone out, um, do my thing. And especially it's really nice to have two passions, music and horses both mean so much to me. And so if I'm getting a little overwhelmed with one, it's great to have the other to just like go be chill. Um, oh my gosh, you guys sent so many good questions. Um, Ashley asked, what is the hardest thing about being a front woman and on your own rather being behind the base for somebody else? Um, great question. Um, you guys know, a lot of you guys know, I used to play bass um, for a couple different artists. And I think being a singer, there's so much more pressure. And Starling Glow has given me a lot of respect for um, any entertainer that goes out and puts themselves out there um, rather than being in the background, being in the band and getting to just chill and no, at the end of the day, if you make some mistakes, it's, you know, it's not on you. But when you're the lead singer, um, I feel like there's a lot more pressure. Um, that's probably the hardest thing, but um, it's been really cool to watch the successes with Starling Glow so far and hopefully onward and upward. Um, oh, more questions. Um, I Own That Doll asked, do you already think about new songs and musical genres? Um, yeah, we are in the process of getting this album out, um, which has been quite a while in the making, mainly because um, when you are writing songs, you try to, of course, do your best. And then a few weeks later, you might write one that's even better. And then a few weeks later, it just compounds. And so um, this album has taken a while because um, my whole team, my producer, everyone and I just really want to put out the best songs that we have. And uh, so I'm always thinking about what we can put on the album, how we can make it better. Um, and as far as genres go, we're, we're pretty pop, pretty pop rock and we're okay with that. Um, let's see more questions. All right, we've got, what's the next single coming out? Oh, I'm so excited. We have a brand new song called Caution Tape and we're actually shooting the video for it tomorrow. Um, it's a really powerful song with um, a crazy range. It's actually the hardest song I've ever had to record. And um, I can't wait for you guys to hear it. This song is kind of about that person in your life that helps break down your walls and um, help you become the person that you wanted to be. Um, and it's just beautiful. So I hope you guys love it. Let's see what else we've got here. Oh my gosh, there's so many questions to scroll through. Um, oh, someone asked, when is our next show? Woohoo! Yeah, we got a special one. We got a special one. one. What's <laughs> what's our next show is New um, Room 5 in Hollywood on this Friday, yes. right? On the 6th. Um, I think it's at 9.30 p.m. Yes. And that's going to be a special one. Yes, it is going to be a long set, and we're going to be playing some acoustics, so you'll hear mm -hmm. some stripped down versions yeah. and a couple of surprises in there. So that'll be fun. Um, let's see. We have, who would you say is your greatest musical inspiration? Um, I think my cop out would be my family. Uh, <laughs> growing up in a musical family, we always were just playing instruments together. Um, ever since I was a little kid, we just would sing, um, gather around the piano or on my dad's guitar. Um, and of course there were a lot of artists that they introduced me to. Um, Bonnie Raitt and Stevie Wonder. We went and saw Sting when I was a little kid and all uh, that's, there's more than I can name, but my parents have tried to really expose me to a lot of different genres. Um, so growing up in my family, I think, has been the biggest influence on my music. Let's see. Oh, we've got, what is your favorite instrument to play? <laughs> Nira, what's your favorite instrument? <laughs> this one. Because um, he was pretty bad at this. <laughs> like, can we make up instruments? Ooh. Um, ooh. No the saw, the <laughs> saw. Have you, ever, you know, have you ever seen someone play the saw where you like have a saw and you bend it and you bow it? Actually, Billy on this record, uh, he he bowed an, a cymbal. Cool. Yeah, oh, cool. Okay. Nice, um, nice. Probably bass because it's the most familiar. Um, it's vo does voice count? I'm really enjoying singing right now. Um, yeah, I think bass is my favorite, but guitar and piano are pretty close. Mm -hmm. Pretty close. The nearest red skin, you know. I leave that one to you. Um, let's see. 
Um, I'm going to refresh here and see what we've got. Oh my gosh. Um, oh, oh, yeah. Here. Nira Russell asked a question. <laughs> <laughs> Nira Russell wants to know. Uh, let's see. Oh, what new covers would you like to try? Ooh, I think about oh, I've been playing Kelly Clarkson a lot lately, and some of her older stuff. I mean, all of her stuff is great. Um, but I've been trying to think of new ways to like revamp some of the original, like just post idol stuff. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. Since you've been gone, it's a great song. All of those songs are great. Are you gonna say what we're gonna cover on Friday, or is that a surprise? I mean, well, we've done this cover a couple of times, That's but true, yeah. our favorite cover to do right now um, is "Call Me," which. 80s. Oh, yeah. Play, My hair inspiration. Can you play a little bit of it? Oh, geez. You gotta sing it? Yeah. <laughs> 30, huh? 30 seconds of that. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Sing a verse? Uh, yeah. yeah. Mm. Just give it enough. I can't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't sound like it enough. Cover me with kisses, baby. Cover me with love. Hold me in design sheets, I'll never get enough. Emotions come, I don't know why. Cover up love's alibi. Call me on the line. Call me, call me, I need, I need time. Call me, oh my love, when you're ready, we can share the <laughs> Our film noir version. Yeah, I know. <laughs> the darkest. It's because he didn't call. Right. <laughs> I just imagine like sulking in my room. Call me. Uh, I was gonna call until I heard that version of it. I'm like, yeah, creepy. I'm not calling that girl. Okay. We have time for two more questions. Um. Oh, this one's fine. Um, asking about the We Are Infinite video. Um, what was the most memorable part of that shoot? Um, we got to go down to the beach, and there's nothing more fun than kicking salt water at people. <laughs> so, you got to run around the ocean and kick salt water. Except for it's not fun when you get it in your eyeballs. Um, sports supplies. <laughs> kick salt water in your eyeballs. Um, another question. What is the dynamic like with your live band? Pretty awful. Yeah. And then she hates us. We don't, like, we don't like each other at all. We never hang out. We show up at rehearsal and we're the maddest people. No, we we bake we bake vegan goods mm -hmm. for our mm -hmm. drummer. He does yep. not eat animal products. Which Everyone has to bring cookies to rehearsal. <laughs> we do. And what else? And dogs. Dogs come to rehearsal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We get along pretty well. No, we do good. Yeah, it's a good group. Yeah. It's what, two girls, three guys? Yeah. Which is awesome. Enough like balance. Mm -hmm. There's enough mm -hmm. lady to go around. Mm -hmm. it's not the <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> well, guys, thank you so much for tuning into our live chat. I hope you enjoyed Ignite and a little snippet of Call Me, our most recent cover. Um, so excited to be releasing our next single, Caution Tape, shooting the video for that tomorrow. So you guys can stay tuned. It will be out soon. Again, this is Starling Glow. Thanks, guys, so much for tuning in with us. Bye. Bye.